Okay. Special duties. Ah! Oh, I do <laughs> mind. Hoodwinked. That's what we've been, Wilson. Hoodwinked. I should have known not to trust that smarmy Captain Stewart. Well, you can't blame him, sir. I mean, he's, he's got a job to do. Oh, you'll stick up for him, won't you? Both went to public schools, didn't you? No, I... <laughs> can't help feeling, sir. You've got a little bit of a chip on your shoulder about that. There's no chip on my shoulder, Wilson. I'll tell you what there is on my shoulder, though. Three pips, and don't you forget it. <laughs> yeah. Napoleon, I wouldn't have missed this for anything. Oh, I'm glad I came now. <laughs> Ali's secret special duties. <laughs> Still, I suppose somebody has to do the cleaning up. I tell you what, it's a good job they're not using a troop of cavalry. Otherwise, you would have had your work cut out. <laughs> Before you address Captain Mannering, would you mind taking that filthy cigarette out of your mouth? Thank you, Wilson. Not at all, sir. Not at all. I just don't like to see you being addressed by, in a vulgar fashion by outsiders. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, hello. I'm going to nip out in a minute. I want to listen to High Gang on the wireless. What are you talking about? There's no radio out here. That's what you think. Brought my portable with me. I've hidden it in the back of the van. Mr. Manrin, now I know what they want us to bring the shovels for. <laughs> <laughs> right, that'll do fine. Thank you very much. Sorry to keep you waiting, Minister, but we're ready to go now. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, tell me, what are those two aerial things sticking out of it? Uh, they pick up the radio waves that control it, sir. Amazing. What will they think of next? Hurry up, Joe. Close the door. Don't anyone just hear us. Here, where'd you get that, Pikey? Made it myself, didn't I? Got the instructions out of practical wireless. You were smarter than I thought you were, Pikey. Yeah, well, as my mum says, I'm not just a pretty face. Hey, listen, how can we miss on one pair of earphones? Well, it's easy. You put one to your ear and I'll put one to mine. Oh. Hey. I can't hear anything. You sure it's working? Well, it's got to warm up, hasn't it? Oh. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to hear what Bibi and Ben are up to this week. <laughs> Do you think Big Oliver really is 85? <laughs> Target is that concrete pillbox, quarter of a mile away. Are you ready, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Ready, sir? Are we all ready? Oh, yes, yes. Right, off you go, Sergeant. Right, sir. <laughs> so. Single bleeps, that means forward. Turn left, Sergeant. That's two bleeps. She's responding. Turn right. Turn right. Splendid, splendid. That's three bleeps. <laughs> Excellent, Colonel. Excellent. Hi, gang. Hi. What's that? I've never heard it before. I have, sir. I heard it on Saturday. It's a repeat of High Gang. It's awfully good. What's happening, Sergeant? I'm getting a lot of interference, sir. I can't make it out. Well, get rid of it, man. That's not the signal for left or right. What is it? I think it's the one for coming towards us, sir. <laughs> Now. I've got it under control now, sir. He's got it under control now. <laughs> there we go. Get back, get back! Transport, quick, we must follow it. Oh, there isn't any transport, sir. I told the driver to come back at tea time. I didn't think you wanted to see the test. You blithering idiot! I put my motorbike, sir. The Captain Manning's platoon have got their van. Right. Get on your bike and go over to Manning. Tell him to drive into Warmington and warn them that if that thing reaches the town, it'll blow it sky high. Then get to the nearest phone and warn GHQ. We'll try and get it back here by radio. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's the last. Those are some of the best peeled potatoes I've ever seen. Look, 
Don't let him give you any soft soap. He's only trying to get round you because he's dropped you in it. That's it. Don't you talk to our captain like that for two pins. Yeah, I'll give you one. Captain, captain, I need your help. It's escaped. What has? The secret weapon. It's broken loose and it's going towards Warmington. It could blow the town sky high. You must warn them. Come on, man. Excuse me, sir. Well, you don't know what it looks like. It looks like a huge wheel. And it contains 2,000 pounds of high explosive. It contains 2,000 pounds of high explosive. Don't panic! Oh. Don't panic! Oh. 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 2,000 oh. pounds of high explosive oh. into oh. the van, oh. everybody! Oh. Oh. Into the van! Oh. Into the van! Oh. Right. Look out, there's someone coming. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey, what are you doing skulking in here, eh? Getting out the feel and the tarties. No. What's going on? Well, warming to the sea's going to be blown sky high if we don't what? get there at the doot. Come, come, come on, Grandad, hurry up. Oh, jeez. You are the most vulgar, rude, and common man I have ever encountered. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Henry, uh, what's that secret weapon look like? What does Stuart say it looked like, Wilson? Like a huge wheel. Like a huge wheel. Oh. Why do you ask, Frank? Well, I think he's trying to pass us. What? <laughs> oh, wave it on. Shall I wave it on, Mr. Manrin? Get your foot down. There's 2,000 pounds of explosives in it. What? What? Ooh. <laughs> he's still following us. He's still following us. Don't panic, Mr. Manry, don't panic. <laughs> turn, down, turn to the left down here, that'll fox it. Right up. <laughs> still following us, it's, it's quite uncanny. I can't shake it off. I can't shake it off. No, it seems as if it's been attracted by something in the van. Perhaps it's taken a fancy to the spare wheel. <laughs> Get your head in again, Walker. Turn to the left again, down here. Right, cut. We've lost it! Thank goodness for that. It looked to me as if it was going to blow up almost immediately. Yeah, he didn't half look angry, sir. That would be absurd, Jones. How can an inanimate object look angry? I don't care if it wasn't any any object. <laughs> He's got a grudge against us. Well, what's going to happen to us if it blows up, sir? That's not our problem, Wilson. We've been told to get back to Warwickshire on sea. That's what we're going to do. I know what I'm doing. Believe me, we've shaken it off. <laughs> 